morning everyone and welcome Matthew and I'm Jane and I'm delighted to talk with Matthew tonight because we want to talk about Zoom, keeping scouting active. So Matthew, tell us a bit about yourself. So um, I am Matthew and I belong to the 21st St Helens Scout Group and I am being the leader there and have been the, been being leader now about three years but I've been involved in the 21st St Helens now since I was a cub. So quite a few years. Carbon, have you got a beaver name? I have got a beaver name. Beaver name is Bubbles. I am known throughout St. Helens as Bubbles. Oh, well, can I call you Bubbles tonight then? You can. <laughs> so Bubbles, tell us all about your Beaver Scouts and why you're Zooming and how that all started. So um, we've decided as soon as the country went into the national lockdown, we've got such an amazing group of young children we're a really thriving group and within beavers we've got about 24 25 young people and they love scouting they really really love scouting the families love scouting and we want to keep that passion alive for them we couldn't do it face to face um, and then one evening, I had a ridiculous idea where I text all the other leagues and said, tell you what, let's do it on Zoom. Initially, there was a bit like a, what's Zoom? How are we going to do it? I'm like, don't worry, leave it with me. We'll get it sorted. And that was back at the very end of March. And we had our first one and about 24 Young, uh, young beavers came along and we thought, okay then, this has gone quite nicely. And then we carried on week after week. We even sacrificed our Easter holidays. We carried on plumbing through because it's not as if we had anywhere else to go. Um, and then suddenly we, we realised that it was gathering momentum and the 24 beavers that we had at the start stayed with us. The families stayed with us and mums and dads were actively getting involved in this virtual scouting community that we've been able to create within Newton and Willows. And then it got wider and wider and we started chatting to um, beavers in the county. We started to chat to beavers in London. We started to chat to people in Canada and it grew and grew and grew. And then after a while, we decided we really have enjoyed this. It's a really odd concept, but we've enjoyed it. And initially, we were just rocking up every Wednesday evening and just with a bit of a plan, but not really much structure when it came to badges because we were just keeping things ticking over. So then we decided we really had to make sure that we started this uh, carry on ticking off all the essentials for the challenge badges because we still, still got children who were going up to cub and we desperately wanted them to get the chief scout bronze award so that's when we uh, we started to develop a more structured program and that was about easter time and it's been fantastic it's been unbelievable to see the young um, young people just continue to engage, continue to carry on their scouting journey and ultimately continue to smile. And they have absolutely loved every minute of it. And um, just to indicate how well it's gone for us, we had a badge award evening back in, oh, July time it would have been. And we gave out about 150 badges. <laughs> which was absolutely manic. And the logistics behind giving out badges virtually was like unreal. We had to make sure that entire week beforehand, the badge furry was posting badges out left, right and centre to different families, make sure we had the right badges in the right envelopes. Um, but it's been absolutely fantastic, Jane. Would we want to go back face to face? Yeah, we would. But you know what? This has been fantastic. Well, Matthew, it's very clear that you've enjoyed all of this, and I'm assuming your, your leaders have as well, and certainly the Beaver Scouts. So just thinking practically now, for anyone who hasn't Zoomed, 
So how long would a typical Zoom session be for your six and seven year old? Yeah, so when we started, we thought, okay, we'll try for the full hour, almost echoing our normal Beaver meeting. And then it became very, very, very clear, very quickly that an hour on Zoom was a long time. So realistically now we're working with 45 minutes maximum. Um, never less than half an hour. We are working about 40, 45 minutes and that's our normal um, beaver night on Zoom. Where do you go for your ideas for your Zoom programmes? Um, I am unbelievably lucky that I've got a lot of leaders within our group with lots and lots of experience. Um, so the other leaders have been fantastic, but Facebook and different social media sites have been absolutely brilliant. On the back of all of this, Facebook groups have set up uh, promoting virtual scouting and some of the resources on there are absolutely brilliant. And they're done for you. Great sharing network, isn't it, Matthew? Oh, uh, ab bubbles, you know what, sorry. Ab <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. And so much of it you can pick up, run with it, and it works. So we've heard all about the excitement, the enjoyment. Just tell us about any challenges maybe that you've come across. So when we first started, and um, it has gone on a while now that we've thought to ourselves, okay, then we need to make sure that first and foremost, we are still safeguarding ourselves and the children. Um, because as a beaver leader, but also as a primary school teacher, that's always at the very forefront of my mind. Um, and we did have to set uh, some, uh, like, almost like rules up, saying that a parent had to be in the room at all time. We never said at any point that the parents had to be visible on camera at all times, but you know because you can you can see the parents cleaning up in the background or doing the ironing, um, and you have very much become part of the family. And there have been a few occasions where we've had to say, "Oh, Johnny, I can't see your mum. Get get can you get your mum to give her the wave just so we know, mum there." Um, and then making sure, just training the beavers up to make sure that they weren't changing their name on screen to like something really, really silly. So it just standing out that when you're on, it's your name that we see on screen. We don't want Mrs. Fluffy Unicorn Head as your name. Um, and okay, even though yours probably says bubbles, but never mind about that. <laughs> So Matthew, it's been great to chat with you about Zoom. And so maybe some advice for anyone? I think if there's any um, colonies, groups out there who aren't currently doing it, as daunting as it can be, I think you just need to jump in. I think groups need to give it a go. There's such a warm feeling around Zoom. Um, in the county at the moment anyway, that I know that there's a wealth of experience that you can draw upon. So if you are one of those leaders thinking, I don't, I don't know about this, I'm really, really not tech savvy. I know that if you contact Jane or anyone else, there's so many people, but I'll tell you what then, I'll help you do your first one for you. And on the back of that, it snowballed and your confidence will just build so much. Matthew, thank you so much. And will you please thank all of your leaders for all that they're doing to keep scouting so active in St Helens. And I hope I can come and join you sometime, Bubbles. Absolutely. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> thank you.